back to my channel. This is Lankis. This time I will make a comparison review. But this time I didn't get the retail, so I will do a brief introduction for you guys. And also I will make a comparison between the retail and replicant version. And I'll also put the retail pictures. You guys can see it clearly. Whatever, let's look at the sneakers themselves. On the desk, you got two colors of ring guns, tie dye ring guns, right? You got the right color and the white color. The white color, which is known as the away colorway, and the bright color, which is known as the home colorway. These shoes are very classic shoes. Maybe some of you guys then realize these shoes are very resemble to the orange ring guns. And so let's take a step back and talk about orange ring guns. And orange ring guns were dropped in 2005. Nike had teamed up with the ABA team, those bare ring guns. So they just named these shoes with their team name, those bare ring gun. And they had an uh, advertisement campaign during the 2002 praise of Nike praise of that. So it is said that the godfather Cindy Budek, who used to wear the hoodie with the tie dye ring guns. So this time Nike brought back to these shoes with the tie dye colorway. They just uh, swapped the uh, solid pandering with the tie dye colorway. The rest the reason behind the sneakers is that they want to pay homage to the original ring guns, but also want to uh, want to show their tribute to the Sandy Budek, the Nike skateboarding of Godfather. And as I mentioned, the orange ring guns, ring, orange ring guns was the first shoe to feature Nike SB logo, so it's very meaningful for the. Nike skateboard team, so they design these shoes as a tribute to the Godfather Sandy Woodpecker, but also pay homage to the orange ring guns. These shoes are very classic. Whatever, let's look at the whole looking of the these sneakers. You feel the beat that will make you move and then You can check the tumble leather. The color is very standard. You can check the tumble leather. Feels so good to touch. And let's check the elasticity of the tumble leather. You can see it looks so soft. And please look at tumble leather. It's very standard. Let's look at the two balls. How steep and how soft. How the elasticity works. Check the toe box. You can see it looks so flat on the toe box. It's just like the retail right one. Then let's look at the, the small perforations of Toe box on the toe box. Let's look at the small perforations on the toe box. 
it is bright colorway so maybe it's hard for you to see the performations and talk about layer alignment and placement they are very they placed very evenly check that and on the center of the performation of these performations you can see it's very straight in line check the release perforations and also please look at uh, the shape of the perforations you can have a comparison so it's very standard then let's look at the leather side of the sneakers the most important is to look at the placement of logo also the shape of shoes that you can see the gap between the the tongue, the tongue right here, and the middle sole between the sush. Also, you got a gap. Also, you got a gap right here. It's very standard. The most uh, iconic thing of the sneakers is the ring gun logo right here. It's so standard. It's so standard logo right here check the embroidery of quality so it's very standard is it is embroidered very decently and you can track the alien with a cup of ring guns check there then let's look at the tongue look at the tongue right here you got nike sb logo right here with the red tank and beneath that you got ring guns right here the orange ring guns is different from the tie-dye colorway in the tie-dye colorway and and uh, number 15 8 right here the 15 number 15 8 not only stands for skateboarding but also stands for the sandy bootleg the godfather also, please check the test right here. It says made in victim. Check that. I will put them in the screen. You guys can have a comparison. Then let's look at the leather side. Another the interior. The interior side of the sneakers. Check the swoosh right here. It's very standard swoosh. Mm, check the placement of the swoosh. Also, you need to compare the retail. This is the gap, and another gap right here between the midsole and swoosh. Then let's look at the back of heel. Check the Nike logo right here, and. You can see you got three lines of ditchings right here. Check about this placement of ditching. It's, it is placed very evenly. And then look at the, on the three stitchings, you got another kind of stitching. You can see it looks so dope, brilliant. It looks so pronounced. And last thing I want the also you can see the outsole is very clean. Also, you used the black color, used the white also right here. You can get pivot points right here. And in the middle of the outsole, you got Nike SB logo right here. The straight is very correct compared to a retail's. And let's look at the white color. There isn't much difference between the black color and white color. The, the, the biggest difference is the colors. You can see the tie-dye color is a little different. Mm, you can also notice right here you got tie-dye color as well on the toe balls. This is the tie dye colorway. So that is the biggest difference. Another difference is that you got brighter also right here. 
the white color go to bright color also right here you can also notice the Nike ESP logo right here and the other elements of the also is very very identical to the black color of also so I will not mention that very clear clearly then let's look at Nike SB let's look at them very quickly and this is the 58 number now let's look at the toe box this is toe box you can see it looks so flat right here and pay attention to the performation about his placement and alignment right here and the curve is very correct toe box is very standard let's look at the midsole you guys can notice it is not very noticeable because the color so but you can see the whole looking of the midsole you can see the stitching is the stitching are placed very evenly and then this is the Nike logo um, the most important thing of the sneakers is the shoes if you check the swoosh is correct the whole sneaker is perfect and you can see the swoosh of his placement and shape very classic and very standard just like a retail the tumble leather is just like a retail one this bouquet toe box you can see if your eye punch it, it looks so so stiff. Also, you can feel the leather is just like the retail, so it is very soft in the toe box. You can feel the quality of the tumble leather right here. Okay. Let's look at how they look on foot. Thank you for watching. See you next video.